In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a dropshipping website using Shopify. I'll cover installing a theme to adding products from AliExpress and even connecting those important product reviews. So let's get started. The first step is to install a theme on your Shopify store. We'll use the Free Dawn theme, which is a great starting point. From your Shopify admin, go to Online Store and then Themes. Scroll down and you'll see a button to add theme. Click on that and select Visit Theme Store. In the Theme Store, you can filter by free themes. Find the Dawn theme, click on it, and then click Add Theme. It will then be added to your store. To make it the live theme for your website, just click Publish next to the theme name. With the theme installed, you can now start customizing it. Click on the Customize button to open the theme editor. On the left side, you'll see all of the different sections you can edit. You can change colors and fonts by clicking the icon at the top of the left menu. In the theme settings, you can adjust the color palette for your background, text, and other elements. You can also change the font styles for your headings and body text. These simple changes can help you start building a unique brand identity for your store. If you're not sure how to lay out your homepage, a helpful tip is to use a tool like ChatGPT for ideas. You can ask ChatGPT for a homepage layout for your specific type of store. For example, you could ask it for ideas for a website selling kitchen gadgets. It might suggest a layout that includes an image banner at the top, a featured collection, and an email signup section. This gives you a great starting point. Back in the Shopify theme editor, you can add these sections by clicking Add Section and selecting Image Banner, Featured Collection, and Email Signup to start building out your homepage. Once your layout is in place, you'll need to add products. I also know that it can feel a little overwhelming figuring out the dashboard, setting up your store, and also making sure that your products are optimized to sell. I do have a new seller's guide, which is a step-by-step -step beginner's ebook made to walk you through the Shopify dashboard. The guide includes a launch checklist to help keep you on track, a mini store setup guide, tips for customizing your theme and branding your website. It includes a Shopify app guide, overview, and product optimization tips. I'll link the guide below for you guys so that you can grab your copy. From your Shopify dashboard, go to the products section and click add product. Here you can enter the product's title, a detailed description, and upload product images. You'll also set the price and other inventory details. This page is where all the product information is managed. For drop shipping, you will typically use an app to connect products from a platform like AliExpress, but this is the central hub where you would manage that product information within Shopify. Now that we have our store's foundation and layout in place, it's time to connect a drop shipping app so we can actually add products. The app we'll be using is called DSERS, which is a popular and officially recommended tool for drop shipping with AliExpress. To install DSERS, we'll go back to our Shopify dashboard. On the left-hand menu, you'll see a link for apps. Click on that and then click on the button that says all recommended apps. Then look for the text, discover more in the Shopify app store. This will take you to a page where you can search the Shopify app store. In the search bar at the top, type in DSERS and press enter. You'll see the DSERS AliExpress dropshipping app appear in the search results. Click on it and then click the install button. Shopify will ask for your permission to connect the app to your store. You can review the permissions and then click Install App to proceed. This will automatically open the DSERS setup page. The next thing you'll need to do is connect your DSERS account to AliExpress. If you don't have an AliExpress account, you'll need to create one first. Once you're on the DSERS dashboard, you'll see a button that says something like Link and Authorize to AliExpress. Click on that. A new window will pop up asking you to log in to your AliExpress account. AliExpress will may ask you to authorize DSERS to access your account. Once you have the DSERS app officially installed on the DSERS dashboard, you should see in the upper right-hand corner your account icon. Hover over that, then click the option titled something like Chrome extension. You'll want to install the DSERS Chrome extension to import products straight from AliExpress to DSERS. Now let's find a product and add it to our store. Also, I know a lot of you guys are brand new to Shopify, and there's a lot to learn when it comes to the Shopify platform. If you're still in the process of learning how to navigate the platform and set up your full Shopify website, I have a Shopify beginners training kit. It covers the Shopify setup process in an organized and easy to follow way. A few things the training covers is choosing a domain and learning how to navigate the basics of the platform, adding and organizing products, 
setting up your store setting like payments, shipping, and taxes. The training also includes a 30-page digital planner to help you with keeping the overall backend of your store organized. I've designed it so that you can get all your setup information in just one place without having to surf the internet and get your information from dozens of different sources. I'm gonna link the course in the description box below. We'll go to AliExpress to find a product we wanna sell. Once you've found a product you like, you'll see a button or an option to add to DSERS. After you click add to DSERS, the product will be imported into your DSERS import list. This list is where you can edit all the product details before you publish it to your Shopify store. So let's go back to our DSERS dashboard and on the left-hand menu, you'll find the import list. Click on that and you'll see the product we just added. From here, you have the option to click the mini pen icon and edit the product title, change the description, select which images you want to use, and even set your pricing rules. It's a good idea to update the title and description to make it more unique and appealing to your customers. Once you've made all your edits, you can click on the push to stores or push to Shopify button. This will send the product with all of your customized details over to your Shopify store. After it's been successfully pushed, you can go back to your Shopify admin, go to products, and you'll see the new product listed there, ready to be sold on your website. Feel free to open up that product page, make any further customizations to the listing, and also click the preview button to preview how the official product page can appear on your Shopify website. By the way, a crucial step in creating your online store is selecting a theme. This can help to represent your entire online store and build trust with you customers. I'm going to link a collection of Shopify themes designed for dropshipping stores in the description box. I have customizable themes for different types of businesses, even including one product dropship stores. Those will be linked in the description. Next, adding customer reviews to your product pages is a great way to build trust and social proof for your new store. A popular app for this is called Looks. It allows you to import photo reviews from AliExpress, which can make your products look much more authentic and appealing. To get started with Looks, we'll go to the Shopify App Store again. From your Shopify admin, go to Apps on the left menu and then click All Recommended Apps. Then click on the text link that lead to the Shopify App Store. In the search bar, you can type Looks and press Enter. You may see an app titled Looks Visual Product Reviews in the results. Click on it and then install it into your store. You'll be asked to review the permissions and then click Install App to add it to your store. After you install the app, Luke should guide you through a setup process. The first thing you'll need to do is select a plan. Looks offers a free trial so you can test it out. You can choose the plan that you feel best fits your needs. Once you've selected your plan, you'll be taken to the Luke's dashboard. You may also see an option titled like Enable Looks Core Script, which should lead you to where you can enable to Looks app inside your Shopify theme so the app is fully connected to your theme. Proceed to follow those steps and enable the app inside your theme. You may see a sign pop up something like Luke's core script is enabled. Once you've enabled it, then save your theme. Looks may now want you to enable one of the Looks reviews widgets. For now, look for the continue button, then click skip as we'll be adding a widget later on. Continue through the additional questions until you've reached the official Looks dashboard. Now, let's connect those reviews from AliExpress to our product. On your Looks dashboard, look for an option that says import reviews and click on it. Looks offers a one-click import method, which makes this process very easy. You may see a draggable import to Looks button, hover your mouse over it, then select and drag the Looks link into your browser bookmarks to bookmark it to your browser. If your browser setup doesn't allow this, you should see something like a small blue eye icon on the Looks page. Hover over that and it will explain how to display your bookmarks bar. Next, you'll need to go to the AliExpress product page for the product you want to import reviews for. Make sure you're on the official full product page for the product. Once you're on the product page, look for that new bookmarked button on the page that says Import to Looks. If you click that, it will open a new window in Looks where you can see the reviews. From there, you can choose which reviews you want to import, filter them by star rating or country, and even choose to only import reviews that have photos. This is a powerful feature as visual reviews can be highly effective. Once you've selected the reviews you want, you can click import to bring them into your Shopify store. With the reviews imported, the final step is to display them on your product page. Open Shopify, then open your products tab. Open that dropship product, then under publishing, click manage, then select online store, then click include. This way the product will appear on your online store. Make sure the product status is also set to active. 
then save the product. We'll go back to our Shopify admin, go to online store, and then click customize on our theme to open the theme editor. From here, you can open the catalog page and then select the product you just added. Now on the left-hand side, you'll see a list of sections that make up your product page. You will likely want to add two specific looks widgets. First, you can add the star rating widget. Hover over the product title, click the plus icon and insert a star rating widget. This typically appears near the product title and it will show a star rating and the number of reviews the product has. Second, you can add the full review widget, which will display all the reviews you imported. Scroll to the bottom of the page, hover your mouse over the footer, then click add section and then look for the looks reviews widget and add it. This is a great place for customers to see all the reviews you've collected. Once you've added and positioned these widgets where you like them, click save to publish your changes. Then feel free to preview your now listed dropship product. Thank you so much for watching this video. My Shopify beginner kit will be linked in the description box below, along with where you can grab the Shopify theme shown in this video. I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify themes designed for many different types of business niches. The link for where you can check those out will be in the description box as well.